from the Bell Telephone Hour. Good evening. I'm Donald Gordon. Christmas is in the air, and our featured artist tonight is Mildred Miller, the lovely American mezzo-soprano who brightened so many of our Yuletide programs in the 1950s. Mildred's first appearance on schedule on the telephone hour was for later in the year of 1952, but in March of that year, Marian Anderson called from Chicago early one Monday morning to say that she was ill and wouldn't be able to sing. So Mildred made an unexpectedly early appearance on telephone hour. Well, the audience loved Mildred, and she came back with us the next Christmas, and thereafter her holiday visits were something of a telephone hour tradition. Here's Mildred with the Bell Telephone Chorus and Orchestra in a medley of favorite carols. The list includes Hark, the Herald Angels Sing, Away in a Manger, God Rest Ye Merry, Gentlemen, It Came Upon a Midnight Clear, and Angels We Have Heard on High.
favorites of the Yuletide season with Mildred Miller and the Bell Telephone Chorus and Orchestra. You know, many tunes around the world have two entirely different sets of lyrics. For example, America and God Save the Queen. This is also true with green sleeves. In fact, this beautiful folk melody is known in at least three distinct versions. The Alas, My Love original, a New Year's carol called The Old Year Now Away Has Fled, and What Child Is This? The radiant Christmas setting that Mildred Miller sings for us now. Music for a peaceful Christmas. I'll be back after this message with more holiday encores from the Bell Telephone Hour. Monday's child is fair of face. Tuesday's child is full of grace. Wednesday's child is full of woe. Thursday's child has far to go. Friday's child is loving and giving. Saturday's child has to work for its living. But a child that's born on the Sabbath day is fair and wise and good and gay. Every day is somebody's birthday. So if someone you know is celebrating a birthday soon, telephone. Long distance is the next best thing to being there. The Bell System. Mildred Miller made her debut at the Met playing Carabino in Mozart's Marriage of Figaro.
She soon inherited many other operatic girl singing boy parts, otherwise known in the opera house as pants parts. Octavian in Der Rosenkavalier, Olofsky in Die Fledermaus, and so on. Sometimes I feel like a reluctant Peter Pan, she said once, but she sang and acted the roles to perfection. One that she didn't do at the Met was Hensel in Humpa Dick's Hensel and Gretel probably because the opera wasn't in the Met's repertory at that time. But on two Telephone Hour Christmas shows, she was the featured soloist in a specially arranged series of excerpts from this wonderful fairy tale opera. Thank you. 
Reflections from Hansel and Gretel. Mildred Miller was our featured soloist with the Bell Telephone Orchestra and Chorus, with one of the members of the chorus singing the part of the Sandman. I'll be back after this message. Do you think I could send my designs all over the world? Just like Fashion designer Mary Quant, creator of the miniskirt. Oh, of course, we have telephones over in England, but I never dreamed you could do such wild things with them. You know, here in the States, you can actually send drawings, I mean pictures, right over the telephone system. To me, that's something else. Just think, I could send my designs all over the world just by picking up the telephone. It isn't so much our telephones, Miss Quant. It's our network that links them together that makes the difference. The most extraordinary communication system in the world. It can take your call and, in a wink, switch it to any one of 102 million other telephone devices. On our nationwide network, anything goes. People talk, computer talk, pictures and drawings, anything. Instantly. Anytime, anywhere. Your anywhere, anything, anytime network. AT&T. This is Donald Gordon, hoping that you've enjoyed our special holiday program with Mildred Miller, and of course, that your own holidays will be both happy and healthy. Do try to join me again next week at this same time, when we'll spotlight the artistry of George London with more encores from the Bell Telephone Hour. This is the NBC Radio Network. Mm -hmm.